Well, recall that the uh, variance formula looks something, or looks like this. <laughs> Okay, you sum up each observation, k okay, minus its mean, you square it, and then you divide by the population size. This is the population variance formula, obviously. Um, and then we have the standard deviation formula as well, right? And the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. Now, is it just me, or does it seem like a waste of time? Why are we calculating something called the variance to measure spread? then we take the square root of it, and we call it the standard deviation, and it also measures spread. Okay, why are we just taking the square root? Okay, what's the purpose of that? Well, imagine if we had a classroom of students, and we wanted to calculate the, the, the spread of the students' weights. Okay, how much variation is there in the students' weights? And you use a variance formula, and you calculate it to be 100. Okay, now, if you look here, so if, if we're talking about students' weights, okay, everything here is in kilograms, right? A student, you know, an individual student's weight is measured in kilograms, and the average weight is also measured in kilograms. So we're dealing with kilograms here in the numerator, but then we square it. Because we squared it, the units here is kilogram squared. Okay. Now, what the hell is this kilogram squared? If I told you that, oh, the standard, de you know, the spread in this class is 100 kilograms squared, you'd be like, what's that unit all about? Okay, I'm not familiar with it. So to get back to something that we're familiar with, what we do is we, we, is we take the square root. So because we've taken the square root, 100 becomes 10, and kilogram squared becomes kilograms. So now we're dealing with the original unit that we were measuring in. And so this is a unit that we're familiar with. And this is the main reason why we um, take the square root to calculate the standard deviation. It's just so we're using a unit of measure that we're familiar with.